psychiatric medications are one of the most commonly prescribed classes of medication. And every year, up to one out of five adults will be prescribed medications for mood, often taking them for the long term. Now, medications can certainly be helpful when symptoms of anxiety or depression, the most common mental health issues, are acute, intense, and severe. However, long-term use is often not required, needed, or even recommended. If we're taking medications for mood and the symptoms start to improve, it's always wise to consider whether ongoing use is needed, particularly given the unpleasant side effects. Any changes to medication should always be discussed with your physician, but it can be helpful to go into these conversations armed with some good information. My name is Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health, wellness, and resilience. I'm also the CEO and founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety as it pertains to the workplace. In this video, I'll be talking about how to approach reducing the use of psychiatric medications when warranted and indicated. Now, for most people, the emergence of anxiety or depression symptoms is the result of a complex interplay of multiple converging factors, including genetic predisposition, early childhood experiences, life events, personality, current stressors, and existing social supports. Although there's little empirical support that anxiety or depression are exclusively caused by a biochemical imbalance, biochemistry does play a role. Now, the efficacy data on the use of antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications is also very clear. They're most effective and recommended when symptoms are moderate to severe, primarily to assist with improving what are called the vegetative or physiological symptoms that accompany anxiety and depression, such as sleep or changes in appetite or energy. When symptoms are less intense, non-pharmacological interventions such as CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy are recommended. Contrary to popular belief, long-term permanent use of psychiatric medications is not recommended or even needed for most mental health conditions and can lead to other side effects and problems. In fact, an extended duration of time during which mood is consistently stable, combined with significant changes in psychosocial circumstances and external stressors, is often an indication that psychiatric medication use can be reduced, if not eliminated altogether. So how do you determine whether or not you can reduce or eliminate the psychiatric medications that you're taking? First, enlist the support of a mental health professional who can offer insights into the psychosocial factors that have played a contributing or exacerbating role for you. They can also help build a relapse prevention plan with a heavy focus on preventative strategies that can help you manage symptoms from a non-pharmacological perspective. Note that any reduction of medications or changes should always be done in close consultation with a physician, both so that the side effects of the reduction in medication can be monitored, as well as close monitoring of symptoms. Then, if you decide that reducing or eliminating medications is a right next step for you, make sure to involve your partner or get the support of a close friend or family member. Having the support of another can help you to identify and manage any symptoms that emerge as a result of the tapering off process. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you found this video helpful. Please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media for more helpful tips.